I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, your faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known your faith.
standing here this is not a night for emotional songs we are singing songs that are true God has been faithful I'm not going to tell you to lift up your hands I'm not going to tell you to sing out but if you know that you know you will begin to give God your personal worship tonight to the hospital the doctors I live in Nigeria by the way God's favorite nation we speak things that be not as though they are and they become for us and the doctors told me that I had malaria induced migraine and so they gave me painkillers and I went home slept I wake up the next morning something was wrong I couldn't speak on one side had had a stroke in my sleep and I was completely paralyzed on one side completely first of all I am a music minister how am I going to do it I couldn't speak you put food in my mouth it falls I could not go to the restroom by myself I remember a particular night I was in so much pain I was in so much pain I couldn't call out to my mom because I needed to use the restroom and I had to on my body and I said God I've had enough just take me I can't live life like this this is not the life that you promised me
I slept in the hospital the next day. They told me later, they said I stopped breathing. I'm always grateful for mothers. I'm grateful for godly mothers. My mom took her Bible and laid it on my chest. She opened the scripture because for every, my parents are pastors, so every child has a scripture. The day they give birth to you, there's a scripture for you. She opened that scripture and said, God, everything you say I should do concerning this one, I have done it. She brought out her tithe card. Yes, my, my mother still uses tithe card. So I don't get into the arguments about tithe. She put it on my chest. Everything you said I should do concerning this one, I have done it. Let me see you take him. And I started breathing. They told me it would take one year of physiotherapy for me to be able to walk again. They were not sure I would be able to speak again. I'm holding the microphone with the same hand. Ladies and gentlemen, may we never get to the point where we are in trouble before we remember that God is true and faithful. May we not get to the point where a donkey has to speak to us before we follow God. Because every Sunday my mom would put, a, she would put the screen, I'll be watching the message, I'll be listening to scripture and I'll be seeing people coming to church standing and looking and the praise worship leader will be telling them lift your hands I said God if you give me that guy's hand I will enter service like that every Sunday I will not wait for anybody to lead me because when push comes to shove we know what is real we know when it happens there's the difference between saying Jesus and Jesus one name a prayer one name and answer when my back was against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way now I'm standing here only because you
can be trusted he can be trusted God can be trusted he can be trusted he can be trusted more than favor God showed me mercy more than favor God is showing someone mercy because sometimes we might deserve what was coming to us but God's mercy spoke. Sometimes we might be guilty, but God's mercy spoke. God's mercy is coming to someone this evening. Hey, hey, hey mercy said no. Mercy, I'm the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Yeah. See, I'm the one that He has shown mercy. Hey, He has shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Oh, rain came. Wind blew my heart. I am safe. Safe. Tonight, we give him thanks in advance. Because everything that we're praying for is coming to pass here. Everything we are believing for is coming to pass. What we waited for has come to pass. See? your testimony I, see I am a product of testimonies man I was fly, I was just telling Dickness I was flying to America right in the plane I'm not telling you last week 27th of December was my birthday I was flying here I got up because I love testifying about the goodness of God and every time I testify, devil wants to play but we don't play we know who we serve we know who we serve I know, I get back in and he's strong I sat down, I just started sweating sweating, sweating they had to start calling doctors they said they want to land the plane I said, land what? we move we move we move I said I overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of my testimony the words of my testimony is I am healed I am delivered, I am saved, I am sanctified I came, I came out from the plane I walked, I no wheelchair I came out, I went to my hotel, I ate, I slept I came for ministration, we are here we are here ladies and gentlemen as I leave you, I will tell you what I have learned in 2024, we do not tell God about our situation. We tell our situation about our God. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on.